hello everybody hello hello um welcome or welcome back to my channel um today's video and blind woman recommends and this is my uh my recommendations for after reading throne of glass uh if you have not yet seen the reviews i will link the um playlist below so you can see the reviews i do want to warn you that uh kingdom of ash is my longest review so i don't know how long it is because by the time i'm recording i haven't edited but i assume it's at least one it's at least 40 minutes but based on the fact that my echo reminded me that it was dinner i feel like i was recording for at least an hour so it's gonna be about an hour take about an hour or so so i do want to warn you that it is going to be long so just be prepared for just be prepared i guess sounds good awesome so okay so let's begin without further ado the first two books i definitely recommend or the first two things i recommend that to read are the rest of sarah j mass's um books um so those are a court of thorns and roses and crescent city these are ongoing series so um a court of thorns and roses starts off as a beauty and the beast retelling where Feyre is our main character Feyre is uh taken to the spring court after she kills a member of their um after she kills a member of his uh, uh, she kills a fairy basically and she is there and she finds out there's a curse on the spring court specifically on um uh i think mainly on tamlin's staff they're all, they're all stuck wearing these masks and stuff like that and she eventually sets out to break it uh crescent city um starts off with house of earth and blood and it starts with um bryce who is kind of known as a party girl or a bad girl like that's her reputation her reputation is mainly that of a party girl and she um she ends up um after coming home from a party one day she finds that her best friend Danica and the, her other friends as well that are in the wolf pack are basically dead and two years after that or about a year and some change after that there is a um there is there are deaths um that occur the same way that the same way that that uh Danica in the wolf pack died so now she goes she's she works with Hunt Athelar whose real name is kind of Orion now she works with him in order to um to find out who killed Danica and who kind of came back so it's a bit of a murder mystery it's very interesting but yeah the next two reads I recommend are And I Darken and Camelot Rising by Kirsten White and I Darken follows Lada and her brother Radu as they are uh entangled kind of in the Ottoman court and uh we follow kind of like their relationship with Mehmed uh the um uh heir to the that empire and we also fo are following like her her descent into who she becomes when she is trying because she's trying to get herself um recognized as well i don't know how to describe it honestly because i haven't read the book in a couple of years but i did enjoy it so um i, I might reread it again i don't know when but i think i might um camelot rising starting off with the guinevere deception is a retelling or reimagining of um the arthurian legends where guinevere is not Guinevere. Guinevere is basically a changeling and she because the Gwen, the old Guinevere died and now she is pretending to be Guinevere. She marries Arthur in order to protect him as queen because there are dangers in Camelot. But she herself cannot use magic because magic is outlawed in Camelot. So we kind of follow her as she tries to play her deception. It's very it's a it's a it's a series I really do like and it's still kind of ongoing. The last book is actually coming out in December, which I'm really excited about. So expect reviews um for um for Camelot um for the Camelot Rising trilogy. Honestly, I should start reading it now because like I could read a book to this month and then another one next month and then the last one in december but 
I'd rather read it all together and then review it. That's kind of more fun for me. The next two reads, as you can see, this is kind of a thing, are um, Ash Princess, the series Ash Princess and Ash Sick of Shadows by Laura Sebastian. Um, so um, ha uh, Ash Princess is a... Um, I, Ash, Ash Princess follows um, Theodosia as she... She is the princess of Astrea, but she, or basically their queen now, but she was princess when this happened. But she was, um, her mother was killed when she was six and she was taken prisoner by the Kaiser. And now she is kind of known as, she's a lady of the court, but she's known as the lady of ashes and, or queen of ashes. Wait, I'm sorry. No, princess of ashes. I'm wrong. Princess. Her name is, they, they changed her name from Theodosia to Thora, and she's known as Queen of Ashes, or Princess of Ashes. And basically, she is basically in, she's stuck there, and she is forced to do something that she doesn't, didn't want to do. And from there, she's, that kind of breaks her, and she's forced, and she basically makes a decision to try to get her kingdom back. Which is, it's lovely. It's a lovely time. Um, so... Yeah. Uh, Half Sick of Shadows is a feminist reimagining of um, the Arthurian legend, specifically following Elaine, and it's based on the Lady of Shalott. But um, it follows Elaine, uh, and it follows Elaine, Lancelot, Guinevere, and um, Morgana as they accompany Arthur to Camelot, where they are chained. Uh, like the, the the everything is kind of different and they're trying to help him take the throne the next read I recommend is A Song of Ice and Fire by George R. R. Martin um, and then this one um, it starts off with uh, Ned Eddard Stark trying to go uh, basically being asked being told that um Robert Aaron, you know, the, or John Aaron, is it John Aaron? Yeah, John Aaron, the one who, um, who uh, raised them is dead, and the king asking him to be his hand, but then there's, like, this whole mystery of who killed, who killed John, and we kind of have watched him try to solve that and go to a bunch of court intrigue. It's a really, it's really hard to describe, but I do have, I'll have a playlist below, um, so you can kind of see what, what this is kind of what it what what it was what it's really about i reviewed all five books i actually finished reviewing um a dance with dragons tuesday so i'll have everything kind of done so you'll have an idea what to expect definitely so i'll be i'll be putting that in there and then the last thing i recommend is the rising of the shield hero which is a series it's an isekai so if you do not know what it is an isekai is basically like a genre of anime or a plot almost or like a trope where where the um where a main character is um usually i i well i don't i don't see i don't i, don't, I haven't watched a lot of isekai but um basically uh, our main character is lives in the regular world but he or she is uh or they i guess if they ever do non-binary i don't know it is basically transported to another world in order to save that world and that's basically the, the main thing that it follows and the rising of the shield hero follows naofumi iwatani as he along with three other men from alternate versions of japan are basically um are um uh, are, are summoned to this world where they asked to fall they're basically asked to save the world from the waves which are basically these like catastrophic things that cause destruction uh however when there is um when they're about to leave and start off their adventure their adventure and kind of start to level up and by the way this this world where this this thing takes place in kind of works like a a video game world so when they're about to when they go to their adventures and are trying to get experience points and level up or whatever no one wants to join him so this um uh this uh mine um ends up um 
ends up trying to ends up deciding to join but she ends up stealing his belongings and accusing him of a crime that he did not commit and from there he basically loses every uh all the advantages he has and kind of starts going on a whole new on this whole thing and he ends up going on a, and he becomes cynical and has to do everything he can to survive so so yeah it's a very uh it's a very it can be a very hard show to watch but it's also a very good one so those are all my recommendations i hope you guys enjoyed them i when making these recommendations i really tried to um get one interesting uh, show uh, books and series with interesting plots as well as with like interesting worlds and well-realized characters and interesting female leads and two I wanted to um get uh books that in series that are that show change uh, hold on that show that where the characters change as the series can as the as the books continue and so on and so forth I will be linking my reviews for uh, I'll be linking a couple of videos and pl slash playlists at the end. I think it's only Half Sick of Shadows and A Song of Ice and Fire. So if you want to check those out, they'll be linked below. Um, and with that, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you tomorrow for another video. I'll be reviewing The Sandman. Um, so check it out. Check that out um, tomorrow. Uh, it'll be posted um hopefully at the, this is oh, i always aim for this but it'll be posted at 11 a.m eastern standard time 10 p.m set uh cent 10 p.m central time and 8 i'm sorry wait no 10 a.m central time i'm so sorry guys i'm recording this and i'm actually not feeling well as i'm recording but i really wanted to get this recorded even though i'm not feeling perfectly um so yeah anyway It'll be posted tomorrow, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 10 a.m. Central, and 8 a.m. Pacific. So look out for that. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching, and until next time, consume stories.